Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. So, bye bye, Samus, the start soon message. And hello, me. And hello, GameCube. Okay. Goody gum drops seems to seems to work out. Welcome to uh, Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. I'm mostly blind on this one, unlike the previous entry, so I don't think I'll be nearly as efficient at completing it. I played through something like the first hour uh, several years ago. The Metroid Liker has locked on. What up, Radical Eddie? Uh, hope you're doing okay. It's time to get to it. Prime 2. We only, we got, we got, let's see. Prime 2, Prime 3, Metroid 2, Super Metroid, and Fusion left to get through. All before October when Dread releases. And that way I can uh, build the hype and catch the wave when, when that game drops. Uh, so without further ado, let's get on with Echoes, who I have to say whose title screen is not nearly as striking as the previous entry. Sorry, Retro Studios. Alright, let's see. Ooh, this is like, it's, it's multiplayer. Oh, that's right. There was, they, they had to shoehorn a, a, uh, deathmatch mode for multiplayer in this game for some reason. Let's see what's rolling in options. Oh, look at that. I, I still have my old save file. Uh, well, let's pick new two. Invert Y axis. Yes, please. Rumble. You betcha. Alright, good enough for me. Visors. HUD lag, hint system, helmet opacity, you know, we'll just leave everything on defaults and get right to it, huh? Alright. Single player. I'm... really? I got 40% through the game? Well, I guess I'm a lying asshole. I played this for a while. I have no memory of it, mostly. Beyond the intro. Wow, that's crazy. Also, was that thunder? It's windy and uh, thundery and stormy here in Vegas right now, so who knows what that'll do to the internet. Rogue planet, huh? Now, in astronomy, the term for a rogue planet is literally a planet shooting through the galaxy on its own, no longer orbiting its, uh, its original star. We're in the pipe five by five. Hey, look, they used, a. Uh they used Mars again to represent the planet's surface. They used they used Mars for uh, Talon 4 also. They just altered it a bit. What other game does that? I mean, there's a ton of games that use uh, actual imagery of Mars as uh, the basis for the little <laughs> for the JPEG of the planet where the planet in question. Uh, chat, let me know if sound volume is weird. My meters seem to be in the, uh, acceptable parameters. Damn. Came in hot. <laughs> Gotta say, Samus' ship looks better in this one than in the previous. Awesome. Thanks, Eddie. You are aptly named Radical.
All right, here we go. Also, I feel a sneeze coming on. One moment. Uh, okay. Probably like 20 more of those, but uh, let's try to remember how the hell Prime controls. All right, this one retains, I believe, most of the same controls as its predecessor. I seem to have the double jump from the get-go, morph ball from the get-go, various suit from the get-go, five missiles, and the charge beam. Let's get scanning. <laughs> Hello, Peanut. Thank you for joining the stream. Uh-oh, my look axis isn't correct. Can I fix... Oops. Can I fix that from here? Ooh, see, this dates from a time when inverting the y-axis meant making... <laughs> meant the opposite of what it means these days. How fascinating. Oh, no. Uh huh. All right. Charge beam, wipe that out. Anything else? Okay, check it out. Recording to logbook, indeed. That was a voice clip. Auto repair function initiated. Return your ship. Recharge energy. Reload. Blah blah blah. All standard. Uh, anything else? I think we're pretty well scanned along in here, yeah? What were these things? I wasn't paying attention. Statue houses, a power grid, motivator unit, energy projection array, all systems offline due to age, structural damage. Okay. Any more scannables? I like that they highlight entire objects now instead of just having a little symbol, but... Uh... Huh. Plant container for decoration, probably by local sentience. Highlights the whole objects instead of putting that little, like, sun symbol in front of it or whatever. Cannot translate alien text. We need to update translator files. Okay. Let's get scanning. Galactic Federation crates. Part of a ventilation system. Heavy Galactic Federation crate. Takes heavier weapons to smash them. Mark 6 gate armor defense system. This must be something the uh, Federation put here. So the Federation's been here. Interesting. Terminated bioform scan. Splinter. Inhalation of industrial grape pesticide. Alright. Time to start blasting crates, I guess. There we go. It's like, scan the dang thing. Oh, this is a badminton bird. Or a shuttlecock, as they're known. Heavy crates. Yeah, missiles take down heavy crates. Do charge shots take down heavy crates. They do. Lots of shots do not. Lock armor disengaged? Oh, okay. <laughs> I 
Destroy lock to advance. Well, there we go. Man, this planet is, uh... It's a little icky. Splinters. Unusual amount of weapon fire. More than necessary to kill it. Marines are not prone to such overkill. Are you sure? Okay. Converted cargo pod gate. Once part of a starship cargo bay has been modified for security purposes. It'll move when a nearby panel is scanned. Ah, there it is. Well, would you looky here? Looks like we had Federation Marines and they set up a defensive bulwark. I'm picking up some enemies on the scanner. Unable to repair. What's this? All gates remain intact. Taking considerable damage from hostile forces. Alright, so these guys were under siege here for a little while. And they used this pesticide to reduce, uh, to thwart the enemy. In this case, apparently hostile organisms. Alright, map data. Three troopers lost in sector A, unable to open gate A1 when a gas trap is engaged. Oh. Well, they're not re wearing breathing apparatus? Alright, let's get this map. looks like some graphical improvements over Prime, but also it kind of seems like uh, when you blow up crates and stuff that they don't blow up as fancy as they did in Prime 1. Maybe I'm tripping. Map is same as it ever was. Ain't broke, don't fix. Alright. Save point up ahead. A couple larger chambers. All kinds of stuff. Well, best to go check in person. Oh, hello. Oh, that's a, not, the bugs, not the door. Worker splinter drone. Low threat. They don't seem to be tripping on me yet. Standard human. Fatal wounds. Hold on, baby. One second. Alrighty, sometimes it takes a little bit extra to get the kids to settle for the night. Uh, oh, he was killed by assault weapon fire. All likelihood killed by friendly fire. Whether it was accident remains to be seen. Standard human. Died of cardiac arrest. Chemical levels in body. Extreme fear. Huh. Well, that's creepy. Fear killed this man. Terminator bomb form, standard human, extremely high levels of unknown toxic, numerous micropunctures in armor. Alright.
Anyone else? There we go. I did it. Well, in just a minute. Oh, I'm not trying to. There we go. Ooh, a lore entry. Let's see. Galactic Federation Marine Corps personal log entry. SPC. Was that B? Reeves. Data transferred to logbook for further review. Oh, okay. So I have to, like, go to my menu and read that. Personal log entry, GS, uh, G Sergeant C. Bennett. Okay. Security breach, multiple air, all units full alert. Control center compromise, repel, invading hostiles at all costs. So there was, like, kind of a final, final battle sort of showdown deal. Morph ball bombs deal with those, okay. Zero life signs, armor computer damage, unable to recover log entries. Whoa, what's that? Bio scan, unknown bioform, zero life signs, recently terminated. 242 wounds from trooper high energy weapons detected. They took them down. Enemy movement analysis complete. Attempts to block enemy access been in vain. Enemy units have been have bypassed our gates and shields by burrowing. Yeah, well, you know that'll happen, I guess. Good news is, is y'all wasted this guy. I suppose it could be worse. All right. Well, all right. So this is the door here. So we need to activate a panel somewhere. I bet you it's over here. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, it looked like there was a way to turn. What the? Status log. Descend reporting. Install one of the ship's reserve power cells here. Holding out so far. So far, too much activity can knock it offline. All right. So they like basically salvage their their transport. Oh, hey, Bets. How you doing? These uh, galactic marines must have uh, salvaged their spaceship and uh, used it to establish a base. Basically, clever girls. We've just uh, started Prime Two Echoes, Bets. We're uh, we've just made planet fall. Our ship took some damage on the way down. Got struck by some kind of purple lightning biz. And while we're waiting for the ship to fix itself, which apparently is the thing it can do, we're uh, figuring out what the heck's up. And we have, are finding that some galactic marines have landed here and apparently met a dismal end. Bomb slot. Alright. That'll power things. Oop. There we go. Ah, that's a good old satisfying sound. Alrighty, bets. I hope you're uh, feeling a little bit better, and uh, you let me know when you're home, and we'll get to uh, Final Fantasy VII remake. Oh shit! Okay, zombies, zombies, even creatures entry. Dark trooper, deceased Galactic Federation soldier. Bioscans indicate he is dead, but. There's the presence of an unknown biomass. Okay. Oh, 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 Back. Let's go ahead and charge up. Anyone else? Scan's coming up empty. 
I suspect we can, uh, we'll see more of those guys jump up as we, uh, go back where, whence we came. Yes, indeed. Video games. <laughs> Alright. You can rapid fire these chumps a little bit. And if I really want to put them down fast, a missile will do it too. I'm literally not trying to scan you. There we go. <laughs> Gotta scan them all, Pokemon. <sighs> Might to start blasting enemies uh, Resident Evil style, see if they're gonna get up. All right. Access granted. Oh, look at that. Damn, this is like most of these guys. Alright. Moving along just fine. Samus, on point and ready. Well, that looks looks like it needs a scanning. All right, unknown dimensional anomaly. Seems to be a dimensional rift target destination unknown. Oh no, that's right. I'm getting memories now. There's a two worlds mechanic. Light world, dark world, baby. Let's do it. Uh, if I recall, it hurts to be in the dark world, period. Uh, but there's these like little zones that uh, project light that keep you uh, keep you from getting hurt. Ooh. That one's got toes. <laughs> <coughs> hey, hey. Don't want no troubles. No trubs, bubs. Uh-oh. They broke the thing. Well, some be. There's a dark Samus. And it hurts. Oh, did we manage to jump back out? Is that what happened? Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's figure our way out around that. Oh, damn it. We lost our bombs. We lost our double jump. We had grapple beam? I didn't even realize. <sighs> oh, we even had a morph ball booster. No more missiles either? Jeez Louise. Every time. At least we can still scan. Uh. Taloric alloy. Wait, do we still have charge beam? We do. But it doesn't do anything for us. Okay.
do we no this is where yeah this is where we we left so well before we depart this room let's double extra make sure that we're not missing nothing is there any wires apparent Oh, another one. Uh, nope, don't look good. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I couldn't remember if they like did the thing where they let you keep a few in the in the anticipation of giving you like new ones to navigate with, but no, no. I mean, I'm surprised they let us keep the shoulder pads, to be honest. Opensy, opensy. Here we go. Alright, well, I've scanned everything in here. I guess we'll check our spaceship, see if uh, auto repairs done its due. It's all pesticide in here. Oh, wait, that's right. We can't go back. There was a point of no return right here. Ugh. All right. So then I did miss something in the other room. All right, here it goes. The beginning of me not knowing what the heck to do. <laughs> Let's cruise along in morph mode. Should be all right. Anything over here? That's mostly just for something to do. Back this way. And don't go nowhere. Well, dread. I can't even get to a save point right now. <laughs> All right, it's got to be something in here or in the next couple rooms, you know. Right. Back where I was. Scan visor, don't let me down. What do you let down? Oh, pfft. <laughs> Well, it turns out I'm a super idiot. I was distracted by the fact that there was a blocked off one right there. Oh, here's me trying to use missiles I don't have anymore. Great success. Challenge overcome, I guess. 
let's try to be a little bit more observant going forward. For instance, what's this purple thing? Cannot translate alien text. It's a funny security system, but I guess. Ooh. Local save beacon is active. Oh, did I totally run past that? So much for being observant, eh? didn't have to hide it behind crates. Well, I'm sure I'm glad the devs decided to put in that message. Hey, you missed a save point, asshole. <laughs> I have a feeling that was something came up in playtesting. Like, how many playtesters wandered right past that door? Let's get into some open space here after these claustrophobic tunnels. By the way, scan visor. Heavy transport crate. Secure galactic crate. It cannot be destroyed. Why don't they make the spaceship out of it then? Uh, Mark II bridge, portable bridge system. Those galactic marines, they're, uh, they're crafty. I want to scan those buggy wugs. <laughs> Hey, look at that. More of that poiple business. Ow. Aha. Splinter. Green Crowley. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, this should activate the bridge, huh? Why do they make us go through this little extra step? You know, just release the bridge. Behold, fabric physics. <laughs> Ew. Well, that's an orifice. All right, we got PFC M. Veroni. All right, we'll read all those at the. Uh, at the save point when we wrap up before heading on heading into Final Fantasy 7 remake later motivator unit functional cross power to activate oh it's purple we need the wave beam purple means wave beam Huh. 
Huh. Who moved that? Oh, well, now we're getting a little bit of music. Yep, missile door. Who moved it, though? Okay. Bam! I got that clue loud and clear. Ooh, is that a missile upgrade? Sure is. Can I hear it? Oh no, it's not like Prime 1 where you could just hear items nearby. Damn it, that's terrible. <laughs> I was counting on that shit. Oh well, I have a feeling I'll be back through there later with more abilities. Mark 7. Denzium. High yield explosives. Oh, okay. Close one down, open the next up. Power gr uh, it's that, that stuff. Who's this dude? PFC Browda. Automated distress signal? Oh. Well, shit. Are we about to... E.T. phone home for the galactic feds when they couldn't, or? Oh, well, never mind. Alright, there's a room over here. Am I right about that? Guess we'll worry about it later. We'll go this way first. Oh, here we go. Structure compromised by burn, uh, burrowing predators. Burrowing predators. Uh, that's a growler class turret. Lightly armored gun. Fast targets conveyed. Shoot it, just to make sure. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Okay. Oh, jeez. Uh, Specialist Ang Seth. Do I want to become famous? Not through chatbots, anyway. Not really. 
Not really one way or the other. I just want a reasonable audience of cool people. That's all I want. Oh, look at this. Oh, geez, you can see that cat's face. Cat face. <coughs> oh, man, a cutscene. Final report. Uh, I, hey, man, I didn't finish reading that. <laughs> On patrol, we engaged on no space pirate frigate. Enemy frigate crippled, crashed on Aether. We followed it. <laughs> ship was damaged by the storm, just like our ship was. Let's go, everyone. Make sure you bunch up real tight. Man, there's a bunch of uh, there's a bunch of them. Heavy magnetic activity and storm disabled our communications. Upon landing, split into two units. Set up ops. And, wow, this is Texas going fast. Each unit is doing fine. No problems. Until they appeared. Not they. Oh no, it's they. It's not they, is it? It's they. Alright, well, it's a lot of bugs. You guys shouldn't be too scared. Oh, wait, it's... It's not just regular bugs, it's the dark bugs. Oh, man. Yep. Well, things went uh, pretty pear-shaped for the old Galactic Federation pretty fast. Kitties. Oh, she closed his eye. Well, sucks to be you cats, I guess. Terminal inactive, memory core damaged. Who are you? Captain Exeter. Well, your name's Exeter, so that's why they made you the captain. Alright. Uh, more log entries. So I guess we're basically collecting all the uh, troopers' logs. We're already at 58%. What do you know? Specialist triplet. Uh, Lance Corporal Brode. PFC Haley. We have to honor the dead by saying their names aloud. Private First Class Milligan. Well, here's one of those things, but it's green this time. Starship GFS Tier and her class patrol ship. Vessel has sustained heavy combat damage. Can we go inside it? <sighs> oh, we can indeed. Doors to open. Map station granted. Hey, hey. Let's see what we got here. Of 
quite a bit, in fact. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember this. Okay, so this is sort of your hub situation, I think, too. Oh, it even says light map. Yep, there's the two-world mechanic. That's how you get uh, twice the mileage out of uh, your effort in level, build, level design in video games. Just use it twice. Uh, Commander K, Starling Pilot. Huh? Oh, this is everybody's seat. Commanding Officer. Oh, it's a cool cockpit. I bet you this looks neat when it's working properly. Okay, so this is a way for you to see all the names of everyone's on board. So, I guess you know the names of the people who you're looking for in the field. Better scan it all. Squad leader, Smythe. Is that it? Alright, might as well jump out of the breach. Damaged piece of powered art. Repairs are unlikely. Kinetic orb cannon. That sounds like something we can morph ball with. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> we'll end up all the way over there. 91% of trooper logs. Wow, we only need, like, what, one more? <laughs> Ow! Alright. Any marine bodies lying around that I missed? Well, we can't go that way, but we can go this way. Hmm, can't go that way either. What's this for? Power bomb door. Uh, seems to be another door out down here. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, okay. Well, look at that. Now we can go back and pop that one uh, missile door, I guess. Uh-oh! Oh, come on now. It wants to return you to combat visor after you scan something. Even if you've already scanned it. Dark Splinter. Darkling Possessed. Alien Symbiote within the Splinter augments its strength and durability. Threat level raised. Come on, go down. There we go. Two charge shots. Ooh. That was a twofer. Anyone else? No. Right. Let's beat it then, I guess. Uh, oh, we gotta... We gotta go places. Do things. Bang. Nice. Hmm. 
Alright. Oh, look. Look who it is. Last guy. PFC Dennis. Alright, I guess we should take time to read those when we get to the next save point. Oh shit. War Wasp. Storage device. Oh, it's a native storage device. Not Galactic Federation. Alright, where are we at here? I see. More wasp nest. Which way do we go? go now. Well, these jumps seem a little bit too high. What the hell? Bam. impact may cause it to shatter. Is there something that'll fly over there and hit it or something? Oh, it's me. But I can't find the thing that activates this guy. Oh. Bang! Where's that other war wasp nest, damn it? Keeps spawning, but I don't know where it is. That way, huh? Let's get a look at this guy. Dead for eight cycles. Trace amounts of unknown chemical. Mummification. That's a uh, aetherite or whatever they're called, right? Can't remember. <laughs> All right. Whoa, hey, that's a serious elevator. Great temple, here we are. 
Ooh, this is like a whole new area. All right. Okay. Eight point one cycles. Corpse hasn't been disturbed. Toxic biochemical. All right, let's receive the data. Hey, save station, just in time. I think it's getting uh, getting about time to head over to a Final Fantasy VII remake. Hope you don't mind, Radical Eddie. I know that's not quite your speed, but uh, rest assured, that this game will probably be. Uh, you know, I'll be juggling it with my Final Fantasy VII replay. What's this biz? Oh, it's a power area. I was like, look at these buggies. I'm shooting. <laughs> hmm. Alrighty. Okay, so cool. That, that that's the first hour of Metroid Prime 2. We we broke the seal. We've started it. Hopefully with a little bit of a uh, applied effort I can uh get us on through and on to Prime 3 in, you know, an expedient amount of time. Thank you for watching. I'm uh, hit the uh intermission daily I got. And take me a short five-minute break before breaking into Final Fantasy VII Remake. Thanks for watching. Well, oh dear. Looks like I'm having to call it short after all tonight. Uh, no FF7 remake, I'm afraid. Uh, but here we go. I'm going to actually raid somebody for once in my life. Let's do that. That way I can pass you good people over to somebody who uh, deserves some views. Let's look for, I think Zeitgeeks is still going, right? He sure is. Okay, so yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's send you all over to him. Sorry I can't go on tonight. Um, 
we'll pick things back up in the morning. But uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.